One of the biggest issues that we deal with in the Clinton River watershed is stormwater, and that's a, a common issue that everybody deals with in these urban watersheds. When you have a large amount of water that hits impervious surfaces like roads and parking lots, it doesn't allow that water to soak into the groundwater and slowly get to our streams and rivers. It all goes into a storm drain and immediately gets into the river at one time. Those streams and rivers weren't naturally formed to handle that much flow. You get all the transport of oils and contaminants that are on our parking lots or in our lawns. So stormwater is kind of a driving force for a lot of issues with erosion, contaminants, and some of the other things we see. My attitude is that you have to lead by example. There's 1.5 million people affected by the Clinton River watershed, and the headwaters are right here in Independence Township. It's very important that people understand that the actions that they take will directly affect the health of the watershed all the way down to Lake St. Clair, all the way down through a whole bunch of other communities. So it's important that we maintain a healthy watershed here since this is where it starts. So a watershed is an area of land that drains to a common area. So all of the water that falls in a watershed will eventually collect in the rivers and streams and go out to a larger body of water. Here we're in the Clinton River watershed. So where we're standing right here, this is Avon Creek. It's actually flowing right out to the Clinton River, which is just right behind you. And um, that eventually flows into Lake St. Clair. So all of the water that falls on this area of land here eventually flows into those bodies of water and out to the Great Lakes. And so that's what a watershed is. Everyone who lives, especially in Oakland County, lives within a very important watershed, and we all live in a watershed. We have plans for each of our parks to understand where our stormwater is going and what impact we're having on the lakes, rivers, and streams around us. Because absolutely everybody's part of that watershed and we all contribute to what happens downstream. A healthy watershed means healthy waters, which means healthy people and a healthy environment. I believe it's, it's important to get the community and uh, residents involved in stewardship programs because a lot of people take things for granted. The local waters here sustain us. We see what happened just north of us in Genesee County with Flint. This nationwide crisis is because of freshwater resource mismanagement. If you grew up loving to go swimming, loving fishing, if you care about water quality and you're drinking water and you want your kids to have a place to go fishing and swimming, or just enjoy walking next to a river or stream along a path. Getting involved is a great way to learn more about that and take steps towards preserving that and having a stake in preserving that.